Hey guys, welcome back. You ever just take a look at your Jeep and go, hmm, just doesn't quite look aggressive enough. Or maybe that it skipped leg day. Have you ever been out on the trail and you're in a tight situation and you turn your wheel and your sidewall just won't grab? Well, I got a solution for that. And I'm gonna show you that right now. And this is it. This is the Spider Tracks one and three quarter inch wheel spacer kit for the Jeep Wrangler and Jeep JT Gladiator. Spider Tracks makes this aluminum wheel spacer kit with matching lugs. It gives you everything that you need to include the Loctite to do the job. Spider Tracks uses a double anodizing process to keep them from wearing and tearing in the weather whenever your Jeep is out in the cold or on the trail catching some mud. All right guys, so let's take a look at what we get in one of these boxes of our Spider Tracks wheel space and adapters. All right, so we'll go ahead and open it up. Now that in this box comes two wheel spacers, all of the bolts and accessories you need, plus a little thing of red Loctite, which we'll get into. So when we take a look, we first take a look, we have this one wheel spacer and there's another one below here. So what we've got here is bolt on design, no cutting or modifications needed. This literally just bolts right up. Okay, factory match pre-installed wheel studs. Uh, it has anodized 606 TT6 domestic grade aluminum alloy. It's precision wheel and hub centric, meaning that the hub fits right over top of this on your wheel. So the weight is more on the aluminum alloy, not on your wheel studs. It's designed and manufactured in America. How about that? So that is one. We get a set of two. Here's our bolts, everything. So this just comes directly out of the package. Probably should have grabbed a knife. But there's our wheel studs. You can see them packaged in here. These will go down inside here, and then we'll take our 7 8 lug bolt, go in there, tighten it up, then we'll put our wheel on, lug nuts over that, and tighten that up. And that's how that works. And then here's the second one. So we take it out. Here's your styrofoam, we'll get rid of that. And then here's the other one. So let's go ahead and get the other one unboxed and then we'll get going. Now, before we install these, there's a couple things you should consider before picking up a set of Spider Tracks high quality wheel spacer. Number one is that the wheel spacer is gonna add some weight. These wheel spacers, although billet aluminum, but they feel like they're every bit of five to seven pounds a piece. That could mean a decrease in gas mileage. Additionally, another consideration to make is that with putting on wheel spacers, you're changing the geometry of the Jeep. You're pushing the tires out, which is creating potentially a lower center of gravity. That might mean that you have better traction and rollover prevention on the trail, but I don't have any science to really back that up. Additionally, you could increase wear and tear to making your Jeep just look a little bit better, but it could cost you in the long run. But the pros are pretty obvious. It's an increased wheel stance, gives it a more aggressive look, puts it, looks like it sits a little lower to the ground even though it may be lifted, and it's just cool. Follow me and I'll show you what we need to install these bad boys. All right, so listed here is everything that you're gonna need. Here's your wheel lugs, here's your two spacers, your red Loctite, you got your 7 8 uh, lug socket, you got your torque wrench, we got our half inch drive, impact driver. I just picked that up, it's on sale at Lowe's right now. And if you've got the uh, Mopar lug key, then you're gonna need oh. that. Let's go ahead, get the Jeep jacked up, and we'll get these things installed. All right, so now that we've got the tire off, we're going to um, put the red Loctite on our existing studs, and then we're gonna slide the spacer on, put these on, tighten them down, torque them down, 
and then we'll add the wheel back and then we're gonna do all four. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so we just finished up installing the Spider Tracks 1.75 inch wheel spacers and this is the finished product. Definitely looks a little squattier, but you can definitely tell this is the same side we measured the first time. So it's sticking out just 1.75 inches and here's this side. Alright guys, we just installed the Spider Tracks. 1.75 inch wheel spacers. I've torqued everything down. I don't think I missed anything, but we're doing a small little test drive right now. And I don't know if it's just me and it's a placebo effect or it's mental or whatever, but it definitely feels, it feels like the steering is a little stabilized because I have widened the tires a total of three and a half inches front and rear so it doesn't feel like it's gonna jump all over the place while I'm driving down the road you know I'm not talking about death wobble I'm talking about when you're driving and you're kind of lackadaisical on your attention span and the Jeep wants to veer left or right while you're on the interstate or on your uh, on a two-lane highway doing higher speeds these vehicles are not known for their uh, stability and control so much on the uh, on the road uh, not like a BMW or a, a nicer uh, sports car with a finely tuned suspension um, these are very loose and they get looser as they get older and then eventually you develop a death wobble now death wobbles nothing to do with a steering stabilizer or anything it's all to do with the wear and tear of joints and bolts and you know all the things that you've got connected but I gotta tell you, the, uh, my initial impression is it feels, it definitely feels beefier. The, uh, the vehicle as a whole feels wider. I don't necessarily feel as high off the ground. I don't know if I can really feel the center of gravity of the vehicle, but um, it just, it feels like it's got a little bit more stability in, in the steering if that makes any sense. Like I'm just trying to keep it straight. It's generally going straight. Now we're gonna go through a traffic circle uh, and we'll see how it does here. Of course, I gotta slow down for somebody, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Those of you that are running wheel spacers, let me know if you thought, if you think that after you installed them, your Jeep handled a little different. I kind of get the feeling that mine is, mine does. It's not a big noticeable difference. And I know in like a month, I won't I won't feel that. It'll just feel normal. But right now, it does definitely feels a little different in how it handles. Um, I don't know what the gas mileage is gonna be. I essentially added about, yeah, I don't know, 28 to 35 pounds with those, um, with those four wheel spacers plus additional lugs. So, I don't know if that'll make a huge difference, but uh, it's definitely gonna add some wear and tear to my uh, to my drivetrain and my uh, suspension geometry. That wasn't really all that hard. Once you get everything together and you figure out kind of what you're doing and what you need to do, it's nothing more than taking tires off and putting spacers on and then doubling up on your uh, lug tightening. So, very simple. Leave me a comment down below if I did something, I skipped a step. Uh, I did torque these to 135 foot-pounds. It does say 130. Drive them for 50 miles and recheck. So I'm gonna reset the odometer right now to measure that 50 miles. I'll recheck it. Maybe I'll post a short about that and then uh, I'll let you know how it drives. If you got any questions, hit me down below. If you got anything left of your weekend, get out and enjoy it. And we'll see you next time on Jack Monkey Jeep.